Hi guys, it's Martina. Um, you know what I realized? That there's like so many things that make your life so much better. Um, I took this UBC conflict resolution course and like I was thinking, man, if I had just taken this course 10 years ago, I would have been a better teacher or like friend, daughter, sister, like it was just so insightful to take this conflict resolution course and I wish I'd taken 10 years earlier. Sometimes I think about that with like iPhone, like I used a Blackberry for so many years and then when I switched over to iPhone, I'm like, oh, I should have switched over like five years earlier or like when I got LASIK because I wore contacts. Like I, I used to wear glasses, then yearly, monthly, and then daily contacts and I traveled a lot camping and boating and whatnot. And I was just like constantly like, you know, and with LASIK, you just like wake up and you can see and I'm like, oh, I should have done LASIK 10 years earlier. Like, why didn't I do it when I was 30 and I did it when I was 40, but I guess like better late than never. And then like another thing was uh, when I was on the Amazing Race Canada, suddenly like my back pain disappeared. And like, I just lived with back pain for just years and years and years because I had like a $125 Ikea mattress. And then when we were staying in these like five-star hotels while we were racing, um, I lifted up the mattress covers and they were all these like, um, I think it was like Sealy. Um, so when I got back from Amazing Race Canada, I bought like a $1,700 mattress and you know, just magically no more back pain. So I wondered how much of it was it like car accident or was it the mattress, you know? And then even with like my Ikea couch, like um, it, had, it was like low back. And it's like that modern kind of style. But then I went and bought a better couch with like a high back and my back got a lot better. And so I was like thinking, oh, I should have gotten that sooner. And then, you know, with allergy season right now, I would say I haven't been able to smell out of my nose for 10 years. And I just thought that was like getting old. Everybody dealt with allergies. It's not just me. And I remember calling up my friend Tony. I'm like, yo, Tony, like having allergies for the past 10 years is like another job. It's like a second job. Like I have to go buy Kleenex from Costco. I need to take Claritin from the pharmacy. You know, I, I have to like put Vaseline around my nose because every night because I blew my nose so much that like it would get red and tender under my nose. So I'd put Vaseline under my nose every night. And that was like another thing for me to do. And then I got this like allergy test or ENT doctor and he gave me this nasal spray. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to use it. I don't want to stick something up my nose. <clears throat> it's so awkward and bizarre. And like, I don't want to do it. It's weird. It's uncomfortable. But I think like in February, like when we moved back to our place and we had just finished renovating our kitchen and there's just like so much like sawdust, tile dust, uh, drywall dust everywhere. My allergies were just worse than ever before. So I realized, you know, I have nothing to lose. Let's just try this nasal spray I got in the beginning of January. It's like mid February right now. Tried it for one or two days. I can breathe out of my nose and I'm like, I should have gotten this needle spray 10 years ago. Like just like the quality of my life, like the amount of Kleenex that I'm not using and spending money on. And like I Kleenex block boxes in every room, every car of, of my life. And so, yeah, I wish I had started using the nasal spray sooner. And then like, even like getting my eyebrows done or lashes or my hair, um, or my nails, I wish I had done them sooner because like, I didn't get my hair done from the age of 27 to like, I think 43. So for about 16 or 17 years, I just didn't dye my hair. And then once I dyed my hair, I just felt so much prettier and happier. And I didn't know hair was such a huge, huge thing. And even with the nails, like I wasn't drawing in my, I mean, not nails, I mean my eyebrows. It wasn't like I was spending every morning drawing in my eyebrows anymore. So. It's just like quality of life. And, you know, I love my Apple Watch. Like, I didn't have an Apple Watch for many years. Like, I was like definitely like a late um, comer to that. And like, you know, and I wish I'd gotten that sooner. And then, I don't know, like just like little things that just make the quality of your life so much better. Like, you know, like the same colored socks in the morning. I'm like trying to match socks at like 6.30 in the morning and I can't find. But if you just have like, 10 pairs of socks that are all the same color. It doesn't matter which two you pick. Or like even like whitening my teeth or getting Invisalign. Like I wish I had done it five years sooner or 10 years sooner. Like, but I guess it's better late than never. And just like convenience. Like <clears throat> a lot of my friends had gotten Nexus and I was just like, oh, like I want to get Nexus. But like 
you know, you have to drive down to the border and you have to bring all your paperwork. And then I did it. I did it because we ended up going to, I think, Australia in December 2019 as a family prior to COVID. And it was just so easy. Like we went to YVR, literally like, I think there was like no one in front of us or like three people in front of us. And like, we just get through the customs and the gate so much easier. I looked over and the regular lineup was like, I don't know, like 35 people in line versus like three or two people in front of me. And I just like literally like put everything in the bucket, took off my shoes and just walked right through. Otherwise I would have probably have waited like an hour or half an hour an hour and a half to get through the gate, you know? So next is definitely, and also like an electronic um, toothbrush, like Oral-B. Um, I wish I started flossing sooner. Like, I love flossing now. I never floss. I never saw, why should I floss? Flossing, electric toothbrush, water pick, like, wow. Like so much, so much food comes out of my teeth. Like, and I just feel cleaner. So yeah, I just, yeah, it's just like so many things that you think about, like, how like little little changes can make your life so much better and like the investments and the return is like so great and it's almost hard because like it's almost a buy-in like you don't want to spend your money or like you just don't know if you're gonna get a good return so nexus yes um conflict resolution course from ubc out of the executive education yes um what else is there i don't know get your hair done get your eyebrows done you know it, it's just like take less time in the morning or you know get these same colored socks get lasik get invisalign if you can afford it you know go see an allergist and an ent doctor and get the nasal spray if you haven't been able to smell out of your nose for 10 years um definitely invest in a good like bed mattress and a sofa because you know you spend so much time in bed or on the sofa in your living room um good shoes good coats obviously um yeah, I think I think that's really important. Also eating like high quality food if you can afford it. Uh, and yeah, definitely budgeting, setting some goals really help your life and your life goals and your quality of life. And these are just little things that I've like learned throughout the years. Um, Earplugs, eye mask, way better sleeping, you know, blackout curtains, amazing, best inventions ever. This should be like, what are your favorite inventions, you know? Um, yeah, I think I think that's about it. And Costco, I love Costco. Costco's the best. Like, I didn't start going to Costco until I met my husband. And, you know, I just love Costco. Costco's the best. Quality of life. Anyways, um, that's a little bit about what I think makes my life a lot easier. Like switching over from blackberry to iphone sooner lasik mattress conflict resolution course um, personal and professional relationships um, improvement the tools that you learn yeah there's things like oh i wish i had done them sooner when i was younger like i wish i had gotten lasik when i was 30 instead of 40. it's just great you just wake up and see and you're like whoa i can actually see instead of like, where are my glasses? Where are my contacts? Where's my solution? Where's my contact case? You know, where are my drops, you know? So anyways, I hope this helps. Okay, have a great day, bye.